My name is Sarah Place. I'm an associate professor of feedlot systems at Agnext in, in the animal science department at Colorado State University. I want to talk to you today about a new publication that we have coming out in Translational Animal Sciences. It's titled Determination of Gas Flux and Animal Performance Test Duration of Growing Cattle in Confined Condition. So our new publication is exciting because this is one of the first publications to determine how many spot samples we need from a green feed system to determine a methane phenotype, meaning what an animal will emit in terms of its environmental conditions for methane emissions. This is important because we need to standardize these type of collection techniques for in the future, looking at genetic selection for methane emissions from cattle. What we've determined is it takes around 55 to 60 spot samples from a green feed to determine an animal's methane emissions and achieve appropriate repeatability and ranking stability in a cohort of animals. What's important about this work for us at Agnext is we will use this threshold of 55 to 60 spot samples as really our criteria for what constitutes collection of good methane data for future research um, on methane emissions from individual animals with a particular focus on that work that is going towards genetic selection of low emitting animals in the future. We also hope this work extends beyond Agnex and is, is applicable to other research groups doing work in this space with that same end goal in mind of creating standardization, making sure we're doing a good job of collecting methane phenotypes across research groups in the United States and across the world with folks that are using green feed systems to collect methane emissions data from cattle and confinement systems. This publication and other resources on beef sustainability can be found on the Agnex website at agnex.colostate.edu.